Hey ladies, so we're going to talk about what happens to your pelvis during childbirth because I know and recognize that you guys want to get your bodies back after you have children and part of understanding that is knowing what happens during the whole delivery process while well, starting really back to the beginning of your pregnancy. So the first thing to know is we all know that during pregnancy your body releases a hormone that's called relaxin. So what relaxin does is it relaxes the ligaments of your body and so what happens is your pelvis Okay, so this right here is called your ASIS. You can find it on yourself, all right? But what happens is that during pregnancy, this actually opens, all right? So imagine this pelvis doesn't move, okay? But imagine that this pelvis opens from here and opens this way. Now, as that's happening, that also means that it causes compression this way. When it opens, it means that it closes off this way. So that's where a lot of lower back pain happens. Some women even experience sciatica type symptoms uh, during pregnancy. Some of it's coming from here, some of it's coming from the front load, right? So while you're pregnant, you have all this front load here, so that adds compression to your lumbar spine, which can also add to the sciatic type symptoms. Um, but that's the first thing that's happening, and that starts really from the moment that you get pregnant, where the relaxing burning through your body, um, and so that way, as you get further along, your body is prepared and ready for those ligaments to stretch. All right, this hole right here is where your baby actually comes out of. So you have here what's called the pubic symphysis, all right? So this pubic symphysis, this actually opens during pregnancy, okay? All of that pain that you experience is very real because your bones are just totally rerouting themselves to allow yourself to give birth. Um, so that is where the baby actually comes out of. This pubic symphysis, um, during pregnancy and after pregnancy, um, can oftentimes shift. And so what happens is you have a pelvis where you have one portion of your pelvis that's tilted this way, whereas another portion of your pelvis can be tilted this way. So notice, instead of being here, it's here. Now, when this happens, it can cause a whole slew of different things. Most of the time, it's going to incorporate lower back pain, um, as well as pain around and dysfunction um, on your SI joints, right? So, because again, if, this, if the front is this way, that means that the back is doing the same thing. Um, and then if, when that happens, you have muscles that are, some muscles that are working harder than other muscles, and you're just adding imbalances. Um, so when it comes to getting your body back, one of the, obviously, things that we're going to want to pay attention to is getting this bone structure back. So let's say that you have genes from pre-pregnancy, um, and let's say that you're trying to get back to those genes. Realize that there is a genuine reality that you may not get back into those genes. If they were very fitted on you um, and your pelvis was more closed prior to pregnancy, that may be a reason that you can't go back to those original genes. It's not because you're too heavy. It's not because you're fat. It is literally because your bone structure has changed. Um, and if you plan on having more children, it's okay that it's changed. It's part of, it's part of the beauty of life. Um, you gave life, so there, there's a little bit of sacrifice to that. But you can also get these to come back in some instances. I recommend seeing, um, you can talk to your physician or chiropractor. They make what's called SI belts. And SI belts are basically pretty firm straps that go all the way around your pelvis here. And that way they can compress and pull them back into the previous position. So sometimes I'll have ladies where they feel, so here's where mine sit, okay? This is my SI belts or sorry, my ASIS on either side, okay? So I'm, I'm feeling this bone right here on the front of my pelvis. So for some women, it may be a little bit more out here, whereas other women, it may be pulled closer together. Um, this is also one of those things that can sometimes predict whether a woman will be able to have a natural birth or not. Because imagine that that changes the shape of, not necessarily the shape of the hole of where the, of the birth canal, but, um, but the availability of space. So I hope that you guys find that helpful as far as understanding what is happening with your body, particularly your pelvis during pregnancy, and what can you do to help bring it back into position, and knowing and feeling comfortable of what's taking place in your body, and knowing that it's all perfectly normal. Love you guys. Bye.